In this episode, I want to take a look at the solution to assignment number five that uh, was completed in class. Now, the purpose of this assignment was to get your feet wet on opening files and manipulating files. Um, I provided to you a class called Stop Info that is used to uh, read in data from, uh, from a line and to parse it out um, based on its constituent pieces. So assignment number five had a, an input file that uh, looked like this. So it has, um, a, it has a header line up at the top and then a number of, of uh, source files or source lines in the middle. The, uh, they're comma delimited. There's a latitude and longitude in here as well as a um, stop ID and a stop name. So this is the text that would be displayed. This is just a unique identifier for the stop. So essentially what you had to do is open up the file. And we, um, I gave to you a, a template for opening files and, and manipulating files. Uh, so you, you have an IF stream that you open uh, and give it a file name. If the file um, is, isn't, either isn't defined or wasn't uh, able to be opened, then you print an error. Otherwise, you actually get a line of data. So uh, the, the line of data is actually uh, read into uh, a character array uh, and arbitrarily chose 140 as something large enough to carry all of this data. Uh, and then, uh, so uh, what happens is that um, we read and discard the first line uh, and then allocate uh, an array uh, of pointers to each one of the different uh, uh, stop info objects. Um, so uh, it's a double pointer because uh, it's a pointer to the array um, and uh, the uh, pointer uh, that array is, uh, or the thing that's pointing is, is also a, an array of, uh, of pointers. So there's a, uh, so it's a pointer to an array and a pointer to an array, the array itself is a pointer uh, which is uh, used then to um, store all of these objects. Uh, the while loop just goes through the line one by one. Uh, recall, uh, I think I mentioned this in class, that uh, the getLine uh, method will actually uh, read in the data and store it into this parameter that's inputted. And so there is no return for this, uh, for this method. It's just read directly into this array, or sorry, into this, uh, yeah, this character array, or this string. That is then passed to the stop info class, which was provided to you, that is stored then in the array. Uh, make sure that we're bumping up the, uh, the array counter, um, and then uh, go through this step of actually um, printing out each one of the, uh, each one of the, uh, uh, the items, uh, data items in the array. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and build this and run it. It's this one here. No, it isn't. It must be the other one. Let me take a look at run configurations for this. So AO5, AO51. Oh, yeah, I had it in the This is in the wrong one here. <clears throat> Delete both of these. Let's create the new one. Okay, let's run it. Okay, so here is my here's my output, and uh, and this is output that's produced by the um, uh, by the stop info class. Takes the the stop ID, prints that. Stop name, prints that. Latitude and longitude. So anyway, so that's. Uh, uh, that's assignment number five. It's a, it was a very short program. We did that one in class. Um, um, I think the, the takeaway in this really is on the uh, opening of the files and processing the, uh, processing the inputs. Uh, the next assignment, assignment number six, uh, is an implementation of the stop info class. And so we'll take a look at that in an upcoming episode.